So NAPLAN is a large-scale uh, standardised testing program. It stands for National Assessment Program Literacy and Numeracy. So it was introduced in 2008 by a Labor government um, as a way to sort of uh, improve accountability goals for the country and also to improve transparency around data so that parents could better understand what was going on in schools. That plan has been quite controversial right from the outset. People have been highly interested in what is its purpose and value. And what we found is that that has not actually been clearly communicated. So there's still some work to be done in terms of clarifying the, the goals and the aims of NAPLAN as it starts to move into an online space. I think parents really need to have a stronger voice in this conversation and they are concerned about their children and, and how NAPLAN makes them feel. So they're trying to outweigh the benefits and costs as well to see if it's worth continuing. Parents do get one printed report each year that compares their child to the national average. But of course, for some children, that can be highly distressing if they're in a, high, a low SES school and their results are far lower than the national average. So we're also arguing that the way the results are presented to parents is, is not very clear and parents can have some difficulty interpreting what it actually means. We had seen that a lot of think tank tanks had done research on that plan and there'd been a lot written about it and we wanted to take a very neutral standpoint to really balance the different debates. And I guess the main finding we had was that we found out NAPLAN is not doing very well as a communication device. So people are still very confused about its purpose and its value and what it's actually doing for students, teachers, parents and schools. NAPLAN is just one test on one day in a year, so it's just a snapshot in time, it's not a whole portfolio of student performance over a year. Uh, but I certainly would encourage parents to speak to uh, their teachers, to speak to principals and to ask questions about NAPLAN and to also read widely as it starts to undergo these transformative changes.